go. The primary thing I see with people who are doing squats, and uh, especially new people who are new to doing squats, is number one, you have no idea what you're doing. All right, so first thing that usually happens is people go down and do this number right here, and their heels come right off the ground. You do not want that. That's the last thing you want. You do not want your heels to come off the ground. All right, the second thing I see, which is a common mistake, is that people think if you squat down, just go like that. And you see how my knees go way past my toes if I do that? That's not the proper squat mechanic. What, happens, what has to happen is for your hips to go back some so that they can go down. So my hips have to go back some and then they can go down and my knees can stay in line with my toes. So you want your hips to go down, all right? You want toes, knees, head in a straight line, okay? Um, at worst, toes, knees, and shoulders, all right, in a straight line that should go up through your body, okay? When you go to full depth, okay? So your weight's gotta be on your heels for you to get all the way down. And now, for you veterans, people who are working out a lot, still not getting the leg development that you want, a lot of the problem is that you go down, you get, you got probably 70% of it right, but you get to here, the next thing you do is this, and your back is flat. You see this angle right here versus this angle right here? There's a big difference between how much work is being done from here to going all the way down here. And you multiply that by how many reps you're doing, and you see why your legs are not getting the work that you want them to. And some of you will even get deeper, you get to parallel, and then you go flat. You got your knees and your armpits, but you're missing out on some range of motion because you're flattening off your back. Your back should never be flat when you're doing a squat. When you're doing a squat, it should be a good incline in your back. You can angle from my butt to my shoulders. Good 45 degree angle or better, okay? So, I'm gonna teach you guys a quick trick on how to do that. I want you to practice it at home, all right? So, just say you're getting warmed up, you're doing some stretching. Before you do leg workout, you want to touch your toes. Stationary stretch, touch your toes. Bend over, all right? Squat down like you're gonna do a groin stretch, and then stand up, all right? Bend over like you're gonna do a hamstring stretch, squat down, stand up. Bend over, squat down, stand up. What you do not want is to bend over, Squat down, butt up, and then your chest up. All right, you want to keep that integrity and angle in your back, your butt to your shoulders the whole time. Bend over, squat down, stand up. Bend over, squat down, stand up. Now this is assuming you're strong enough and you have enough control of your weight to be able to do this, all right? If you're not, you may need to have something to hold on to, okay? So find a, a stair rail, something that's sturdy at your house or at the gym. Go grab onto a machine or uh, one of the racks, one of the squat racks or something. Hold on to it, lower yourself down under control, and then use this, you can actually pull to help pull yourself up, okay? If you're carrying a lot of extra weight, 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds, you may need to start off like this so you don't damage your knees while you're learning how to squat. It's perfectly fine to do that. And what you can do is uh, you can put on a weighted vest or something if you want to add some resistance uh, as you get familiar with it. But honestly, you really shouldn't add resistance until you're able to do it freely with no assistance and full range of motion. Now, if you got some knee issue that keeps you from going all the way down, I'm okay if you go to here as long as Keep the incline in your back. The problem I see is people go down to here, maybe down to parallel, but still flat in the back. Don't want to flatten the back at all at any point when you're doing a squat. All right? Even when you're doing deadlifts, unless you're doing straight leg deadlifts, you want to keep a good incline in your chest, push it up through the heels. All right? You should be able to put your feet on some weight plates or something to do the squat. And this is something you can practice with some assistance. Going down, 
with your, with your toes elevated. Down, toes are still off the, off the floor. If you get a lot of back tightness when you're doing uh, leg exercises, it means you're not focusing on keeping your weight on your heels. And this is something that's gotta be mental and conscious on your conscious when you're doing every single rep. It's not something that you got down, you got to be focusing on it every single rep, just like you got to be focusing on getting your depth. How many squats you can do, how fast, is irrelevant if you're not doing the proper range of motion. Matter of fact, you don't want to do it real fast because you want that time, all this time, your quads are working from here all the way down to here, all the way back up to here. They're working the entire time. If you stop here, they're not working as much. If you stop here, they're not working as much. If you do that, they're not working as much. They only work. You go all the way down and all the way up. And you want to take your time doing it so that you can get those muscles firing. You get them working for a good period of time. So I have to teach this over and over and over again. I have to tell people over and over and over again. And still, even after years of training people, I'm still some people, it's hard to get them to do it right. And then the next workout they come in, it's like starting all over again. Learn how to squat properly, build your legs properly with proper fundamentals. Going out on the squat, the last thing you want is your knees to cave in. All right, do not want our knees to cave in. We want our knees to follow our toes. Okay, so whatever direction our toes are pointing, that's the direction our knees point. Bam, down and up. All right, you don't want knees going different directions. That will jack your knee up so fast. You do not want that at all. All right, we want our ankles to stay stable. Some people have problem with pronation on their ankles. So you gotta have good, strong ankles as well. You don't want your ankles collapsing. Everything needs to be in a straight line and stable and sturdy if you want to have good, strong quadriceps. Now, if you are unable to do it, it's okay to do quarter squats, but just make sure that your butt goes back first. Butt's gotta go back first if you're doing quarter squats or just going down parallel. Get that butt out of the way. Your butt's gotta go out of the way because this is where my hips are right now, is where my chest is gonna be, okay? You see where my hips are right now in relation to my toes. They're just slightly behind my toes. That's where my chest is right now. So my hips can't stay there. So that's why I can't go straight down because that's where my chest is gonna be when I'm at the deepest part of the squat. So you gotta understand the proper fundamentals and mechanics for your body. You wanna build those legs up and alleviate some of those joint issues and some of that pain. I have, bad, I have one really bad knee uh, from uh, sports playing football. Uh, so I understand. And my knees have not, not felt better since I really started to do resistance training with my legs, doing step ups, but staying in my lane, not trying to go in the gym and put 100, you know, 200, 300 pounds on my back and do back squats. It's not how it works. You gotta be able to do body weight efficiently before you can add weight and actually be good at it. Work your way up, it takes time. There is no quick shortcut way to building your quads. You gotta take your time, and there's definitely not one that's not gonna keep, that's not gonna get you injured. So you gotta stay in your lane, you gotta work your way up. It takes time and progress over a period of time. Be able to do bodyweight squats, be able to do squats with very light weights, maybe dumbbells in your hands, maybe doing some uh, prisoner squats or dumbbell type deadlifts where you squat down, weights in your hand. And I got a workout video coming with some of my clients here soon uh, where I'll show you guys um, how to do that. Maybe some thrusters, dumbbell thrusters. I prefer dumbbells as a, as a primary uh, once you're really getting started to doing resistance training uh, because barbells force you out of your natural range of motion a lot more. Dumbbells, I can do squats. I can hold them right here. I can do squats, I got resistance. I can hold them right here, I can do squats, I got resistance. You put weight on your back, then you almost have to bend over. You got weight out here, it throws you out of your natural range of motion. It's a lot harder. Is that you're able to do it, but it's a lot harder. And especially the heavier weight you get, it throws your mechanics completely off. So you guys practice this at home, all right? Uh, I'm gonna probably have a squat clinic here soon so I can get some of the people out here that make me pull my hair out. See, see I ain't got none. People I train, they may pull my hair out, uh, trying to teach them how to squat and do the squats properly. Uh, so I'm gonna have a squat clinic, so if you're local to Atlanta, uh, be on the lookout for that. I have a squat clinic here soon, trying to teach some people how to do this thing the right way. 
practice those uh, bend over squats uh, at home. Use something to help you uh, support your weight. And you gotta practice and put the work in. You know, you do a squat challenge, do them the right way, learning how to squat. You gotta do wall squats first just to build up some leg strength before you can add in that range of motion. It's perfectly fine. Just do some wall squats for, you know, 60 second wall squats for a few reps um, a day. And if it hurts real bad, don't do it, all right? If it hurts real bad, if it just, just a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, a slight ache, a lot of times you can work through that, but if it hurts real bad, don't do it, all right? And if it hurts for two or three days after that, then you definitely did the wrong thing, you're not right. So definitely consult with your doctor, your orthopedic first, but you gotta build a strength in your legs, and unfortunately doing quad sets is you know, flexing your quad and raising your leg, that ain't gonna build enough strength because that's not gonna simulate your whole body weight being lifted by your legs. And it's not gonna work with glutes and all that other stuff too. So, you guys practice this at home. Let me know what you think, please. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll let y'all in the next video. Peace out.